What is going on, everyone? And welcome back. Episode 13 of Dream Team Chronicles. And we're done with Division 6. Get out of here. We're into Division 5. Three wins and a draw is enough to get us up the divisions and get us promoted. And again, lads, another episode that's going to be a bit of a mixed bag. We've got a lot of issues, I think, with V1.1.4. I don't think it's as bad as B V1.1.2, I'll be honest with you. This is the first guy's team that we're playing. I know you guys like to watch the teams that I'm playing. 4114. I think people have kind of copped on now and copped the fact that overloading your like your players up front and playing four up front or playing three up front with like an attacking midfielder literally sitting in the pocket um is kind of the meta or the overpowered way to play the game at the moment. I'm really stubborn and I don't want to like go away from my out wide formation. I don't want to just buy clop and play quick counter and like have three strikers up front and just completely overload um an opponent in the box. I just I just don't want to play that way. You know what I mean? If I'm sitting down to play an hour at lunch every day, I don't know how this is a free either, lads. Let me know. You be the judge here. Be on the referee watch here in the VAR for me. But, I mean, that's all ball as far as I can see. I don't see any foul there. They need to kind of adjust and look at and tweak the AI of the collision systems, the refs, the decision making, the decision algorithm, everything like that of how they actually process how what is a free and what isn't a free. Because it is very frustrating because it can cost you games. Literally, it can cost you a game in the last couple of minutes. If you give away a free like that in a scorable position, uh, you know, against a good opponent in a tight game and he scores the free kick or a penalty, it can be very frustrating. A penalty, yeah. If I slide in the box and I can see the penalty, it's no one's fault but myself. But as I said, back to what I was saying, right? There is always going to be ways, no matter what video game that you play, whether it's NBA 2K, whether it's Warzone, whatever game you play, Halo, whatever, Fortnite, there's always going to be balancing issues in the game as we score a beautiful goal there with Mario with the dive and header. There's always going to be balancing issues. Like, there's always going to be things that are meta, that are overpowered. There's going to be some guns that just absolutely melt in Warzone and then they get absolutely patched and nerfed into the ground. There's going to be some guns in Halo that are really, really strong um, at certain distances and then they patch them and tweak them because they're killing people too fast or they're unbalanced and they're imbalancing the game. And it's the same with sports games, man. You see it all the time with NBA 2K, FIFA, PES, doesn't matter, eFootball now as well. Um... There's always going to be, you know, things that just work, you know what I mean? Things that work really, really, really effectively that are very hard to stop. And this game, I think, with V1.1.4 at the moment, as you see a lot of the goals that are going to be scored by me and by my opponents, it's all got to do with inside the box, you know what I mean? Finishes inside the box. There's no real long-range game to this anymore. You'll see here, I give a terrible pass away, he gives a terrible pass to me, and that kind of summed up his game in fairness. He was just very unlucky. He wasn't a bad player, but sometimes you just get a run on people. He didn't have an amazing, amazing squad either. And from here, I just kind of knew that I was going to beat this guy maybe 2-3-0 um, because he was getting a couple of last-ditch tackles in because he was he was a decent a decent player. Um, but again, you can see it's just a little bit, again, stuck in mud, lads. And it seems to be that the second half of this match I thought was very sticky. Even though I was 2-0 up and I got a lovely goal here, you'll see it's an inside-the-box finish. Touch and go, touch and go, touch and go. And then you're into the box and you just finish where you beat the keeper's angle. So I think that that is kind of where you're at. If you're struggling to score goals at the moment, Moment, I wouldn't be too concerned about even defending. I would be concerned about packing your 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 up front. And I'm gonna do a video on that of like you know if you just are completely hell bent on scoring goals, you don't have to spam. You can actually play intelligent possession football, but it's you're playing it in a different area of the pitch. You're playing it up front, like with your three strikers. And I will do a video on that as well. I know Sep does a lot of that stuff with his Twitch, so check him out as well. Um, he does it in real time where he's testing out different formations. But yeah, uh, we do get the, the, the match conceded here. Um, and this match that I was talking about, right? I've said to you about V1.1.4, lads. I think it, it is better than V1.1.2, but I don't think it's it's as good as V1.0. That's just genuine, genuinely my opinion at the moment. I think like even searching for matches, we'll see in a little bit as well. I'm finding it, w it takes way longer to search for matches. I'm finding it way longer. It takes way longer to get like a four, four bar connection or a five bar connection. Um, I'm getting a lot of one bar connections that I'm obviously not playing. And when I talk about formations, right, this guy has it kind of sewn up, right? He's got Alaba, Kimmich and Makalele, and then he's got five at the back. So pretty much he is going to be playing 
with like a back maybe six or seven here where he is just going to be completely um looking to like beat me with his two players up front now this guy was a fairly decent player um i think if i played him again on a different connection i think i would have given him a better game because as you can see here i know myself i'm struggling when i can't turn and look at piol there i just literally just couldn't turn man i paused it here for ages the spin of this kept coming up i was hoping that the connection might improve after a pause but again you're going to see here like this kind of summed up the game for me watch Vieira's movement here right just watch this he turns he just goes completely away from the player like no i don't understand the logic in doing that at all now i had maldini under my control by the time i switch back to Vieira, he literally would not let me close him down or sprint right now excuses 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 it didn't determine the game this guy was a good player i'm always able to take my hat off and when you see schmeichel make saves like this you know it's going to be a very difficult game for you i had a couple of like half chances but as i said lads this guy found what worked for him um this was probably my best my best kind of example of it is that like i just wasn't really playing my way i think i was a little bit kind of um and got kind of a little bit frustrated and rattled by the connection and by conceding a goal like that where i couldn't control Vieira. players falling into each other i highlighted that in a, in a thing before again running out there roberto carlos i wasn't trying to press with roberto carlos there at all i was trying to press with neymar once i got control off him because what i tried to do is when i'm controlling a player and he has a direct line at the player like at the opponent i try and like take off control of him get another player and then i use the teammate press to do it but this kind of summed up my game, right? I couldn't get the ball here at Mario. He gives a 180 pass, which I always hate to see. I intercept it lovely, and I start building the play again. And again, I'm patient. I've kind of calmed down by here. I've kind of resigned myself to the fact that it's not going to be my day, but I can still make it hard for him. Look at this from Romario. I mean, Romario would control that in his sleep, but it's just like he has zero awareness to the ball, as you can see there. It's just, I don't know, man. It's just one of these games where again connection wise everything i've played three or four matches against guys from ireland um where the connection has been an issue i don't know why that is i don't know if that's because we're connecting to somewhere else and then going again but as i said to you lads this is kind of an example of all the the stability issues that i'm having at the moment now nothing has changed on my network it just seems to be that i'm matching up with a lot of people playing on wi-fi people that don't have stable connections and it does impact the game and it's a completely different game when you've got a good connection it's it's a completely different game you know it's fluid it's smooth you can play possession you don't you know those little tricks and flicks that i like to do on the wing um work you know what i mean they're not a hindrance but we do eventually get a game and as i said to you this guy is playing a very kind of like standard 4-4-2 where he's got pogba and, and pedri in midfield with modric romario and kane so he's got one tall one small up front same at the back up in meccano and beckenbauer i think if i was going to beat this guy it was going to suit me to go out wide but he is playing santa so i know he's going to be fairly aggressive and he does have a good bench as well but as I've said, lads, and as I keep repeating, I don't think V1.4 is as bad as V1.1.2. I think they fixed a lot of the fluidity issues. I know you're going to get connection issues. You're never going to stop people playing on Wi-Fi. I mean, they estimate that there's like 75% of people that play games online use Wi-Fi. That seems extremely high to me, depending on the game, obviously. But you have to understand that there's a lot of people playing, uh, you know, playing their PS5s or playing their game in, 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 in their sitting room or um you know as their actual entertainment hub you know where they're watching netflix on it as well so it's in the it's in the sitting room uh you know on the big screen tv and they're connected to wi-fi because they don't want to run wires like i know about like six or seven people um i know about six or seven people that play e-football on wi-fi you know what i mean and that's just from guys that i know that i talk to you know a good bit that they play on wi-fi most of the time you know you have to understand that a lot of people are very very casual gamers but the reason why i have a timer popping up on the screen lads i'm not doing some sort of experiment or something like that but this guy genuinely i don't think i've ever been as frustrated playing a match as this one this was one of the most frustrating experiences that i've played in e-football to date i don't mind losing that last game where we lost right i'll i'll brush myself off of that and say like look the guy was a good player he dominated me defensively he got a really lucky goal at the start of the game his second goal kind of finished the tie and i couldn't score i couldn't get my react players to react up front and i was making a lot of bad decisions but if he had scored here i think my pad would have gone less genuinely i think my pad would have gone 
He was holding possession for about 40, 50, up to a minute, up to 60 seconds at a time, lads. I literally could not get the ball back off him. You'll see here in a second, this is my one really big chance. He gets back with Kante. Kante looks like a beast. He gets back. I like that, that that's kind of a bit balanced, that I'm just not gone. I know that that frustrates some people, but look at the formation, or look at the possession stat here. I had 17 successful passes and 28% possession. That is totally, totally not me, but he had zero shots on target with all that possession. So, you know, when I'm doing videos and I'm talking to people and asking how they play, do they play quick counter, do they play possession? I mean, you can play possession without holding the back and being sideways FC, you know what I mean? You don't need to hold the ball into the back because you'll see what happens in this game eventually is that I do only need one or two chances. And when it gets to the 60th minute or the 70th minute, um, I'm going to like get a couple of chances as you see here, I go attacking. And this guy, I know this guy is going to hold the ball for as long as he possibly can. Like, look, right, I'm understanding that he's going to be patient. He doesn't want to get caught in the break. But, like, you're always going to make mistakes. You're, you, you're not going to be able to keep the ball for 90 minutes. Do you know what I mean? And, like, I get a ball in here, I get very lucky, and I slot it home. So all his hard work, his 78% possession, his 72% possession with 150 passes sideways FC is irrelevant now because I'm 1-0 up with 67 minutes on the clock, and now I'm going to give him a little bit of his own medicine. So I am saying to you, right, I wanted to do this to be a bit of a dick, obviously, not really, but, like... I just wanted to show you how easy it is and I think this is also a big issue because I never really tried to do this and that to be honest with you this match that I played against this guy it's probably been the first game all year where I've actually had somebody do that to me like hold 72 78 percent possession where I literally can't touch the ball so I wanted to kind of show you guys and try and test it out myself while I was doing it how easy it is to actually do it like I'm passing literally he just can't get the ball off me i mean what's he meant to do here if i just keep going back look at the space i have he tries to cut me out here i get a bit unf i get a bit fortunate unfortunate and then i just have to foul him and that's what a lot of these guys do when they lose possession in an area they just red card or they foul when there's like one nil up and i know myself that i just have to recycle the ball back here i do not like playing like this i would rather come out and beat a guy two nil um you know obviously look there's not an on offer here like i'm not going to get anything what am i going to get by getting up the division or by playing like this regularly it's not enjoyable for me it's like frustrating for the opponent i you know i don't want to stay passing the ball around like i'm playing against the ai on beginner difficulty like i want to go out and score nice goals i want to go out and play a nice wing play um it's just not for me man so i do think if you are kind of looking at like holding possession and stuff like that i can understand if it's 78 minutes 79 minutes on the clock and you're one nil up against a really good opponent of doing that but not at the start of the game man. you know it just doesn't make sense to do it so we do end our episode there lads um with a couple of mixed ep a couple of mixed results but let me know how v1.1.4 is going for you guys i'm going to be putting these videos out a little bit more of the regular clips so there should be more episodes coming out let me know what you guys think don't forget to check out my tutorial and my player reviews as well and let me know what you guys think of v1.4 i'll be back quite soon 